Uh, I'm looking for anything Mesa Boogie. Mesa Boogie? Sorry, can't really help you there, because they haven't been available in Europe for the last three years. Recently, I was working on a different video where I wanted to price up how much a full Mesa Boogie stack would cost here in Europe. Historically, Mesa have always been more expensive here. It's kind of like how Marshall are more expensive in the US. It's import taxes, it's weight for shipping and size, amps are big and heavy. So I went to Thoman to price up how much a Mesa full stack would be and, well, all they had available was a B-stock cab clone. In fact, at the time of recording this video, Mesa don't exist on Thoman's website. Okay, I'll go to Music Store then. They don't have actually any amps listed, but they've got pedals and they've got valves. Although, actually, they don't have them, they've just listed them as ordered. Expected delivery in 2024. Okay, um, I'll go to the UK then. Guitar Guitar. Finally some amps, but they're all pre-owned. They don't have any new stock at all. I'll just go to Anderton's then. They've only got two products listed, and both are out of stock. Um, PMT are listed as a dealer on the Mesa Boogie website. Maybe they'll have something? No, absolutely nothing listed. Actually, I couldn't find any Mesa Boogie products listed outside of North America. No amps, no cabinets, no pedals, no anything. And it doesn't take a genius to see why that could be a big problem for Mesa. Especially considering, as far as I can tell, this has been going on for the last three years. But why is this happening? And more importantly, will it change? And when is it going to change? Well, to find out, I contacted Mesa Boogie and secured a statement. But before I share that with you, we should probably take a look at the history of this problem and where it came from. Because immediately, I'm expecting people to assume that it came from Gibson's ownership of Mesa Boogie, which I think that played a very, very small part in the overall scheme of things. So let's take a look first. So Mesa's problems started around 2020. The lockdowns put a wrench in the works for most companies around the world, but Mesa had an extra complication. Around September, October of 2020, their transformer supplier Magnetic Components shut down. So Mesa were left without any new transformers, which is a vital part of an amplifier. And then just a few months later, January 2021, it was announced that Gibson had bought Mesa Boogie. And this, of course, was the announcement, so the deal was probably being done the months beforehand. So at this point, Mesa have already quite a bit on their plate. They've been bought out by a new entity, which means that even if there are minimal changes to the command structure of the company, there still are bound to be at least some changes. There's also a huge backlog of amplifiers that they haven't been able to build. Remember, during the pandemic, the demand for gear skyrocketed, and they don't have the parts to build them, plus the added lockdown situation, and then just general supply chain issues. This all snowballed and resulted in mid-2021, with Mesa suspending all new orders. So I guess you could say, it's a bit of a mess. Ah. <laughs> Subscribe if you like puns, actually no. Subscribe if you like videos, that would make a lot more sense. Anyway, the suspension lasted not particularly long. I couldn't find a definitive end date, but I do know that new orders came in and they were delivered, at least in the US, albeit expectedly delayed, but the orders were delivered. But in Europe, there was another problem. In late 2019, the EU revised certain safety approval standards, and to get approval for certain products that you're bringing into the EU, you needed to get them tested in a lab. Now, this is happening early 2020, so you can see that just around the corner, there's going to be some significant delays in lab testing. So without approval, you run the risk of having the equipment seized on import. So there hasn't been any new Mesa gear here for years. It was estimated for 2021, then 2022, then early 2023. And those who had their orders through dealers, at least in Europe, have had their orders cancelled. In the Mesa Facebook group, someone posted their experience in trying to order a Mesa through Thoman as recently as April 5th, and Thoman said this, allegedly. Hello, thank you for your message. We have just received information that currently Mesa Boogie is not able to ship outside of North America. As a result, they are not accepting any orders at this time. So I'm scratching my head, I have no idea what's going on. So to try and get an up-to-date view on things, I contacted Mesa Boogie and asked for the latest, and this is what they said. As you mentioned, we have suffered a delay in getting Mesa Boogie products to Europe. 
Unfortunately, this has gone on longer than we anticipated, however, there is indeed light at the end of the tunnel, and we are hopeful to have products available in the autumn of 2023. Exclusive news right there. Unfortunately, one of our parts suppliers closed its doors unexpectedly, which led to our production facility scrambling to find suitable sources to match the usual high standards our amps set. As you are probably aware, switching suppliers and parts for electrical components, equipment, product, needs a certain amount of due diligence, as well as strict testing is needed in order for the final products to be supplied around the world. In this case, European regions need a level of approval which may differ from other countries in order for this to start. Furthermore, in order to switch suppliers, components, we needed to adjust some of the design elements of the range. Simply put, the sizes of these parts are not standard and can vary depending on where they come from. Of course, all this was happening during the COVID pandemic, so we were having to balance the global shutdown in production while market demand skyrocketed. The good news is that we are almost there. Products are flying through testing and approvals are being issued as we speak. We are working with a highly knowledgeable and enthusiastic dealer network who will be stocking the full range which will include models not ever seen in Europe before as well as the awesome new Mark 7 lineup which is getting huge attention in the US. I hope that's true because I'd like to see more boogies. With Gibson's purchase I was hopeful that they'd be more readily available here. They were always pretty scarce to begin with but unfortunately the opposite has happened. You just can't get them. And I can only assume it's been bad for business. Like, it must be when a huge chunk of the world can't actually buy your product. And then, of course, you've got amp modelers and maybe even more so profilers, which can take the sound of an amp. And when you've got a customer base who haven't been able to buy the amps that they want for years at this point, they're bound to start looking elsewhere, be it with plugins. At least, depending on the plugin, Mesa would get a royalty from that, but profiles, all you need is one person to buy the amp, who can buy the amp. And then there's just competing amp brands who have stock readily available. Ingle, Diesel, any of those. And it's not just amps, it's also cabinets. And that's not even factoring in the price increase on some of these amps. The biggest which, in Mess's case, that I could find was the John Petrucci signature model, which in the last 18 months has gone up by 45%, actually a little bit over. 45%, which is a sizable increase. And that results in people who could have afforded the amp 18 months ago, year and a half ago, wanted it but couldn't order it, not being able to afford it now. Just to mention, price increases aren't just happening with Mesa, it is happening among other amp brands too, but the point still stands about someone who wanted to order it, couldn't, and now can't afford it when they I mean, they still can't order it, actually. But when they are eventually able to order it, they probably won't be able to afford it. And it's a shame, because there is hype surrounding the new Mark 7 amp. That only came out a month ago. But hype can only last so long if you physically cannot get the product. So that's the video, a little update on if you were trying to get some Mesa gear but couldn't. Now you know why. Uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!